What's up, science team? A little while ago, my good friend Chris Riley sent me a picture and asked if it was real or fake, and it was really bizarre looking. It looked like a mashup between a Coca-Cola can and a plastic bag. So for today's experiment, we're gonna dissolve the outside layer of an aluminum can to see if there's really a plastic bag on the inside. For the first part of this experiment, I'm gonna take some sodium hydroxide, which is also known as lye. It's essentially drain cleaner. It's also used to make soap. It's a crucial chemical for the process of soaponification, of which we did a video once where we made soap from French fry grease, and it kind of worked. The Smosh team thought it was pretty cool. We also did another video where we were just melting aluminum pots, and we were doing that with sodium hydroxide mixed with water. And so for this uh, first part of it, I just wanna show you what happens when you mix sodium hydroxide and aluminum together. We're gonna put a pop tab in a Petri dish, then I'm gonna pour some sodium hydroxide, some very powerful sodium hydroxide on the pop tab. You gotta be really careful with lye. Note of precaution, you don't wanna mess around with lye, and that's no lye. Uh, it's very caustic, it can do a lot of damage. I mean, drain cleaner stuff you don't wanna mess with. This is the active ingredient in drain cleaner, so like, don't mess around with lye. Very nasty stuff, for real. So this reaction gives off heat. And so I actually brought this laser thermometer in here just to give you kind of an indication. So like that's what this area is, 75. And the solution coming in at 120. Yeah, so it's quite warm. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in. So as you can see, there's a reaction almost immediately. It looks like it's <laughs> dissolving in the pop tab. Wow, that's pretty, pretty stellar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you're seeing that it's like fizzing. And what's happening here is that the reaction is creating sodium aluminate, which you can kind of actually see in there. It looks like kind of like that metallic, darker color. And then the gas that it's giving off, the reason the bubbles are happening, uh, is we're getting hydrogen gas that's being produced from this reaction. And so if you look in there, our pop tab's almost completely gone. So it's transformed into sodium aluminate and hydrogen gas. Okay, so we put a soda tab in sodium hydroxide and it completely dissolved it. There's nothing left. So now let's move over to the Coke can. I'm going to sand off the paint on the outside of the aluminum can because in order for the sodium hydroxide to react, we really need it to be just on the fresh aluminum. So I gotta remove this paint layer. Fresh. Ooh, wow, that. that's nice. actually impressive in itself. Looks good. <laughs> that looks really cool. All right, let's make some sodium hydroxide now. Ooh, boy. I want to stir this slowly because you don't want it to get too hot. Yeah, 79. Oh, 93. 127. Just let it chill for a second. Everybody just calm down. Everyone just relax. Everyone relax. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna pour some of this out for my homies. We have a little bit left in there, but um, we'll just leave that in. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm going to get this in place first. I wanna make sure that we have a secure grip up top. It's pretty good, like that. I wanna come in here with this. I'm trying to just avoid any splashing. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and dip her down in. We should probably see a reaction right away. Oh yeah, we sure do. It's looking like it's reacting very quickly. It's making noises. Ooh, it's leaking. There's soda pop getting in there. Is there? There's a, there's a leaking. It's just eating right through it. I think it's gonna fall, dog. Look. Uh oh. Uh, go uh oh. Uh oh. I'm gonna bring her up. Bring her up. What? Yo, what the hell? What? 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 Dude! <laughs> what the heck? That's crazy! What? 
Okay, so there's definitely a plastic bag inside the Coke. You can see it right here. But what happened is I think we actually, maybe we sanded a little too hard and we kind of punctured the backside. But there is definitely a plastic bag inside because it basically goes Coke can, plastic bag, and then the aluminum that just hasn't been totally eroded away yet. Wow, it really, there really is a plastic bag inside of Coke cans. <laughs> That's legit. All right, so I'm gonna dip it in there a little slower and just see if we can get, maybe get like the bottom of it out. I don't know, because we know where there's a, there's a tear now. That's insane. That's so crazy. All right, let's bring it out. What? Oh, that looks so dope. There's still soda in there. What? That looks so tight. So, Chris Riley, that photo is true. There actually is a plastic bag inside of Coke Camp. And it's really, really thin plastic. I mean, this is like exceptionally thin. I feel like I'm gonna break it just by kind of pressing on it too hard. <laughs> <laughs> the bag's actually pretty sturdy considering how thin it is. Wow, so weird. You know what? I like it so much, I wanna do it again. Isn't there a bunch of coke in there still? Yeah, but there's a lot of sodium in that too. Wow, a lot of, a lot of activity down there below. Ooh, all that hydrogen gas coming out. Oh man. She's angry. Oh, she's steaming. Wow. Man. Uh-oh. She's boiling. She's not happy. Let's <laughs> dip her down in there more. Maximum power. Maximum. You know what I could do is I could try to add some Coca-Cola back into the top. Uh -huh. You know, just to like give it some weight. Pull it out. Oh, maybe there's a hole. I don't know if there's a hole in it or not, though. I think it's in the back, maybe? You ripped it! No! I destroyed it! I ruined the experiment! No! I touched it and I ripped the bag! What did you do? <laughs> What's so crazy is, like, look at the Coca-Cola in the sodium hydroxide. Oh, that's weird. It's so wicked. So I have an idea. Um, I think what the problem is, is that we have too much sodium hydroxide, and so it's heating up the bag, and it's essentially like melting the bag. And so what we could do is we could try this all over again with more of a dilute sodium hydroxide solution, and just letting it kind of ride for a bit, like letting it go for like 10, 20 minutes or so. Let's give that a shot. All right, we're just putting a little bit in there. About putting like one third of what we did last time. Last time we was getting a little crazy. This one has way less sodium hydroxide dissolved in the water, so this should be a little more chill reaction. Uh, so the bag shouldn't get as hot. So I'm thinking that we should have a more clear image of the bag that's inside of the Coke can. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower it down in there. It's gonna take a little bit more time, but I think it's gonna be worth it. You know, because all good things take time. Okay, look, I can get down with that speed, you know? <laughs> I think last time we were in sprint mode. This is more like uh, marathon jog mode. More control. All right, so it's been like an hour and it's still fizzing, which means if there's hydrogen coming out, that means it's there's still aluminum reacting, but the can is also kind of like getting crunchy, so like I'm assuming there's more bag down there. I don't know, let's take a look. What? Oh, dude, that's so yeah. sick. What? You can clearly see that it's a bag. That's so tight. That is so good. Ooh, that is so good. There's the soda. <laughs> peek, peek. 
Nice, and this time it hasn't ripped yet, so like, perhaps one of the better ways of going about this is to take your time, make it go slower, so that the plastic itself doesn't get too warm or too hot, and then, you know, rip like the other ones. This is crazy, and it looks so bloated there at the bottom. <laughs> Holy mackerel. That is a bag of that soda. That is a bag of soda if i ever seen one. That's actually really good. I'm really happy about that. That looks very bag-like. There's no rips in the bag. That's pretty awesome. So we learned that you should probably do it just slower um, overall. That's really cool. That's amazing. I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna pull this off to the side. This is kind of like a melty. Whoa! Pit. It jiggles. <laughs> <laughs> a little jiggly there. Little Whoa! Wiggle. That's so crazy. That's so crazy. Why you have? Why is the bag in the cook? Eh? Why is the bag? Why so crazy? Oh no! I was, what I was just, doing? I was just trying to show what you guys. Uh, it was so per, it was so pretty too. What did you do? <laughs> no! Well, okay. So I was trying to show like how flexible it was because it was plastic, but now I figured out that the plastic is very, very, very fragile. But there is plastic in the can, which makes it so interesting. Um, and then also to note that it is extremely fragile. So if there's any soda left in it, it really can't support the weight, obviously. I barely poked it and it just broke. So that's what happens. Very fragile uh, plastic bag. I was on Steve Spangler's website and he did a video very similar to this and he did some research as well and he found out that the bag inside of the Coke can or the liner has been there since 1934. So it's been around for a very long time. Now the reason that the bag was put inside of the can to begin with is because the soda has carbonic acid and that will react with the aluminum can um, and it will make the soda taste very metallic-like. So. With the bag liner in place, it separates the soda from the aluminum and we don't have that metallic taste. So thank you Steve Spangler for doing all that research. Um, my mind is blown that there is a plastic bag inside of all Coca-Cola cans. Okay, there we go. We took a Coke can and we put it in sodium hydroxide, also known as lye or drain cleaner, and we dissolved the outer layer of aluminum and discovered that inside all of Coke cans is a plastic bag, of which we then also learned that the plastic bag is actually a plastic liner that keeps a separation between the aluminum and the soda, which has carbonic acid, so that the soda doesn't have a metallic taste. Super cool, super interesting. Thank you so much. Uh, Chris for sending that over to me because I thought it was fake at first too. It totally isn't. There really is a plastic bag in all Coke cans. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. It really, really, really helps the channel. It all kind of factors into the crazy YouTube algorithm, so please give us a thumbs up. Um, in the comment section below, let me know, did you guys know that there was a plastic bag, a plastic liner in all of these Coke cans? Uh, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you really soon.